Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. I hope you all are doing good. Yeah. So before starting my video, uh, first let me introduce myself. Uh, I am Satish Sharma and uh, I am a consultant in an MNC. And it is my passion to share uh, my knowledge on PowerShell with the audiences like you. But before starting my video, I will request you to please subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up if you like it really uh, very much. And if you want me to um, continue making videos like this, then please mention those things in the comment box. Okay, so uh, let's start the video. Okay, so today's video is on uh, Excel automation and the uh, 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 and the topic which we are going to discuss will be selecting a range of cells in Excel. Means how you can select a group of cells, okay, and uh, do uh, a specific operations which you like. Means that may include uh, coloring the whole uh, whole of the uh, selected cells or uh, merging whole of the cells, okay, or inserting borders or something like that, okay. So let's start. So how you are going to select a range of cells? Okay, so uh, first of all, let us let me start the uh, Excel uh, sheet. Let me open the Excel sheet by um, by the uh, PowerShell. Okay, so here this is the code. Okay, to open the Excel sheet, and uh, I I'm not going to discuss this uh, code here. This is because I have already discussed these things in my uh, previous videos. Okay, so if you uh, really new to uh, if you're really new to this video, and I will recommend you to please go to my previous videos, uh, which will help you in understanding why we are uh, what uh, these uh, whole code uh, is doing. Okay, and uh, you can also uh, see the I button. There you can click, and uh, it will take you to my uh, first video. Where I have discussed everything uh, in detail. Okay, so let's start. So how you're going to select a range? So let me first uh, start the Excel sheet. As you can see, the Excel sheet has started in the background. Here it is. Here the Excel sheet is. And uh, to discuss things uh, uh, for ranges, uh, we need to have uh, you know uh, cells filled. Blank uh, cells doesn't work. Okay. So I have already uh, entered the or uh, filled the value of these cells. Okay. With some values okay so let's start the uh, let's just select any range okay for that I'm going to uh, create a variable first and uh, uh, let us uh, first select this uh, uh, one of the sheets this is because when uh, when you want to perform any operation first you open a workbook okay this whole is a workbook and these are the sheets okay so you will have to select sheets so here we are selecting a sheet so I'm going to select this sheet okay so how uh, uh, we are going to select the sheet um, by the by using uh, this method okay let me make a variable first create a variable and uh, then use this variable then uh, sorry then work sheets dot item one okay item one means we are uh, using uh, this sheet okay and uh, sorry and i've also discussed uh, this thing also in my uh, second video on powershell uh, on the excel automation uh, by using powershell so you can go to that video also and uh, either you can and also you can collect on uh, um, sorry uh, you can uh, click on the i button which will uh, take you to uh, that video okay so I have selected this sheet. Okay. Now let us uh, select this range, uh, range. Okay. So before that, let me uh, introduce a variable here, dollar range, and then I will be using this particular sheet to select the range. And there is a method called range in Excel, where now uh, how we um, select a particular range. Okay. We have to, uh, if you uh, suppose, if I want to select uh, uh, from uh, this cell to this cell, okay. So what I have to do here, you can see that uh, this, the address of this cell is A1, okay, and the address of this last uh, cell is A12, okay. And I want to select all of these cells. So what I have to do here is uh, mention that range, okay. So how we can do that by inserting the first address of the cell and the last address of the cell. Uh, let us choose uh, till 14. Okay. So uh, let's uh, choose this thing till 14. So I have 
choose till 14 okay uh, now let's see whether uh, let me execute both of these lines okay now you can see that we have uh, selected but here you cannot see anything happening here so how we can verify whether it is selected or not for that let us use any any method for range okay so uh, right now here I am what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use um, copy method okay let's let's see copy method what it will do is it will uh, show you from here to where uh, this thing is selected okay so let's run it and let's see what happens you can see now you can see that it has copied this much of data that is from a12 to uh, sorry a1 to a12 okay this is sorry copying range of cells okay Is there anything else we can do? Yes, there are a number of other things which we can do is here. Okay, and uh, those things are, for example, uh, if you want to color all of this, okay, all of these uh, things, then how you can do it? For example, I want to color all of this uh, range, selected range, with green color or some some any other color. How you you are going to do it? For that, we have a method called interior then color index and here you have to mention the color index so uh, for example this color index are basically uh, numbers where you can select what kind of color you want for example I want green color so for this uh, for a green color the color index is 4 okay and uh, don't worry I'll give you uh, the link where you can find the color indexes okay and you can uh, color your uh, selected range with the uh, with um, uh, as per your you know um, as per your choice okay for right right now I'm doing this thing so you can see that it is all green now okay so this is coloring the whole range okay now what if you want to insert any, uh, you know, uh, if you want to do any formatting, for example, if you want uh, the lines to be bold, the fonts to be bold, so how you can do that with this whole uh, selected range. Okay, so inserting formats. So how you can do it? By, <coughs> by again using this variable. Okay, font bold. Okay, let's see. I'm sorry, I missed one thing. Uh, this is uh, that the default value of this whole expression is false, as you can see. So I have to set it to true. So I'm going to do it. Okay, true. And now let's see what will happen if I'll uh, uh, run this uh, line of code. Okay, so just uh, observe here, and uh, all of this will be uh, in bold. You can see that this is all bold. Okay. Let us now uh, play with borders. Okay. With a uh, selected range. Okay. How we can do this means uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to play with the borders. Okay. And that is borders. We have this method borders dot weight is equal to let us put any value i think two will be will be able to show uh, you can see that uh, we have borders okay and uh, what if uh, we increase the uh, value you can see it is getting thicker and thicker what if uh, six hmm. 
it is out of the range it means we cannot go beyond oh, okay we cannot go beyond 4 it means hmm it means 4 is the last value okay we have i think uh, one more uh, thing i think we can color the borders also let me um, find any uh, let us see whether we have any more, any other uh, things for border dot i think color let's see color index if it is 3 then what we we get okay you can see that it is uh, this or uh, red color what if it is 5 is blue color okay now this was about the uh, range and you can do a number of operations here okay uh, suppose uh, if you want to select the whole of the range it means uh, this is uh, uh, this is about selecting a range of values okay a1 to a14 suppose uh, if you have values uh, uh, 100 values in this uh, column okay uh, and you want uh, all of these uh, you can see that it is not 100 it is more than uh, to it, it is actually 272 okay 272 values and you you want to perform some operations on this whole column then how you can do it you cannot always you know uh, specify the range okay you cannot always specify the ranges because you will not, uh, not uh, there may be some applications where you don't uh, will never know that what will be the last uh, 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 cell value okay so in this case what we do so in this case uh, we use another method which is called as used range okay so how we do it let's uh, start used sorry range what this will do is that uh, you will not, not uh, there is no need for you to um, you know specify the range okay ah there is one more method which i will like to discuss with you and that is uh, merging range before uh, starting with this uh, um, used range okay merging uh, what is merging you uh, all already know okay uh, that is we can merge this whole uh, you can say a range of cell means we can make a one make it as one cell so let us see uh, i'm not going to use this one because this is uh, because i will be using something uh, using these things for something else so let us uh, select this value sorry this cell okay so uh, what i am going to do is i am going to change the range here okay uh, let us copy this let this i am going to uh, make it another range one okay and let us change the range let this be b1 to not b14 but uh, let it b b 10 okay and now uh, what we can do is let us run this now uh, it has selected this much area and, and this whole range and now let us merge it so sorry uh, this is merge merge sales okay now let's see what happens okay it is by default false so we have to make it true so let's see you can see that this is merged okay what if uh, you want to again uh, remerge uh, unmerge it uh, you can i think do this by setting this value false okay yeah you can see that it is false and it, it is right there is one more method called unmerge so that will also open uh, that will also do the same kind and the same thing okay so this is about that and now let's let's uh, use the, discuss this method used range i'm going to again create a variable and uh, 
then this worksheet then sorry use range okay so what it will do it will select the value till last time last uh, cell okay so okay it has done now let us uh, do some some uh, operations here use range dot uh, let us uh, insert the um, um, insert some color okay so what i am going to do is i'm going to color whole of the selected range color index let all of these uh, things be colored with uh, red color okay three is for red so you can see that right now i don't have any color here okay all of these things is uh, black and white so uh, let's see uh, what happens if i run this uh, run this line okay. line of code okay you can see here okay so it has colored it till 272 now let us uh, mm -hmm. let us change it to 4 again and let's see what happens you see okay so by using the use range you can select all of the uh, value all of the uh, all of the things and so all of the range of cells where you have values okay we can again perform the same operations here let's uh, let's see i'm not sure about this but yeah i think it will run hmm. it has worked okay so as you can see this was the this was all about the uh, selecting a range of cells and doing certain operations okay so this was all uh, for today and uh, this is the whole code okay so this was all for today and i hope you have uh, enjoyed the video and would have find it useful and if you really like my video then please share and subscribe to my channel give it give it a thumbs up and uh, also please uh, press the bell icon so whenever i will load uh, upload any new videos you will be notified okay so just uh, tell me in the comments that uh, how my video is and uh, do you really like it or not okay till then till my next video see you take care